This salt is not, it's unlike rock salt, it's not, you know, uh, hard and uh, like, uh, like a crystal, it, it's, it's like shale. Okay. You know, it's, and it's a little, um, how shall I say it, uh, sticky. <clears throat> and, that's, and, that's, and that's the mark of, of fresh salt. It's a little sticky, not really dry. And it's like shale, it's, it's like, like scales from a fish. And this is a true salt. Uh, and all we need to do is take about uh, two, two tablespoons, if you make your own, well, before, before. <laughs> and I tell my students that, you know, before when the ocean was clean, Right. You could go down to, you know, Kaneo Hibe. Mm -hmm. You could go down to Waikiki and you could just take a nice beautiful cup. Right. You know, and be clean and just sip it down. Now you have to go a little further out, <laughs> a mile out to get really right. clean water. So somebody said today, mm, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> there's uh, there there are too many uh, drainage problems with sewage from Kaneohe to Kailo to Waimanalo to Waikiki to Sandy Beach, all over. And so it's uh, much safer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's much safer to make it your yourself. Own. Yes. So, so all we do is take two tablespoons of salt. In how much water? And in a quart of water. Warm it up so it'll melt, you know, kind of mix it up a uh -huh. bit. And, and take it down. And, uh, over the course of a day? Or That's one dose. A quart yeah. of water is one dose. Oh, a quart. You so you just have to sit and drink. Just sip, and you know you could you could whistle if you want to. <laughs> I, I've I've done the sea sip. salt um, cleanse, not with with regular <laughs> water, and it's not an easy thing to get down a quart of salted water. You know. It definitely takes a concentrated effort. Yes. And desire to to want that because the texture in your mouth is not like yes. when you just drink a little seawater, you know, when you're surfing or out there swimming, yes. you don't Little notice land, it. You know. mm. It doesn't bother you, but a whole quart is a whole different story. Yes. And so it's exactly what the students say. Wow, Kumu, you mean you're going to take a whole quart? <laughs> I say, okay, okay, let, let's see. Uh, how old are you? You don't need to tell me your age, but you know, here at the university, you're probably in your 20s, you know. 21, 22, 23, you know. So then let's say <clears throat> you are uh, 22 years old and you haven't taken a shower inside for 22 years. Do you think a quart will be sufficient? <laughs> That's to remove uh, <clears throat> gunk and rubbish from your small intestines, which science say is 32 feet long. 32 feet long, oh yes, yes. Plus your colon, which is another six to eight feet, let's see. Long Almost math. 40 feet long plus, there. Oh yeah, that's about 38 feet long right there for 22 years. Now you tell me. If the quartz not too much. <laughs> and that's it, so of course not too much, yeah, it's not too much. So only one day of that? It's, it's not like so five what days? Is, what we do is, um, if they really want to go on it, on a cleansing, then the program is, <clears throat> they go, usually we do a fast, you know, for three days, to remove, you know, get them on the, get them on the program. And then after the three day fast, see, we do a three day fast because I tell them, if you do a three day fast, we will also um, weaken the parasites mm -hmm. that are in your intestines, in your, your stomach and everything else. <clears throat> so on the fourth day when you do the cleanse, you wash out the parasites plus all of the, the gunk that's right. and the rubbish and the toxins that are in your intestines and your stomach. That'll also, that'll pull out the eggs, the yes. parasite eggs, because the eggs don't die from a fast, right? Yes, they but just they, weaken. But they get, yeah, they get weak, mm -hmm. see? And so it's, it's more easily, you know, you know destroyed.
one day a week. And, <clears throat> and so I, I tell them, well, you do, you do it every other day, you know, give your, give your tummy a break. So, oh my goodness. But then if you do it every other day, that's for three days. <clears throat> and, um, so a quart just every other thought, day. <laughs> just this thought of, well, and this is only one method, you know, it'll, it'll clean them out really well, boy. You know, but <clears throat> uh, can, can you tell us just a little bit about parasites? Just a, a moment of of how parasites are affecting us without us knowing it. You mean how do we get parasites? Well, no, not how we do get them because it's easy to get them depending on where you live. But mm -hmm. how are they affecting our intestines and what's going on in our body? Why why we want to cleanse them out? Well, because parasites live, you know, they just live off our food, whatever we, we, you know, ingest. They ingest too, and so they're having a ball. Hey, man, look at this, spam and rice. You know, and all the death foods, we call it death foods, you know, that people eat, like uh, fast foods from McDonald's to Burger King to et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> These are all... These are the types of foods <clears throat> that are killing us. It came from the West. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the West brought with them many good things, but they also brought with them many destructive things. And, and one of their destructive you know, weapons was the food that they ate. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, like white they, flour. They wanted to be more comfortable. And so, you know, <clears throat> today hardly, hardly anybody really cooks a meal at home. Oh, we're going out to dinner. You know, they either go for heaps of pizza or, you know, or, or, or a burger and a Slurpee. And that's it. And so we see it uh, more and more. They used to say that <clears throat> the Hawaiians are suffering many diseases. And, and, they, and they are because they've branched away from, okay. from their traditional cultural food. Everybody has branched away mm -hmm. from their traditional cultural food. And so the food of the West, which is, you know, very easy, easy to be prepared, just go down and, and have a meal and that's it. And so less and less uh, nutrition uh, uh, at home is being used. Uh, before, I remember when we were young and growing up, six o'clock, everybody's home on the table. And everybody waits for everybody. And if you weren't there, hmm, it'd be some big trouble. So you're teaching again traditional values of nutrition in your classes as well. Yes. And with your clients. It, it has to be. Otherwise, if we don't tell them, if we don't, if we don't suggest to them, you know, what, what they should do, the young people, they won't know. They say, well, we thought, you know, it's comfortable food. All we go, all we do is go down, have some have some chips, chips and dips, and a, and, a, and a Coke, and that's it. And so there lies the reason for many diseases. Mm -hmm. Cancer, high blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes, oh my goodness. So cleansing your system is gonna begin the process of being able to start over and eat the right foods and let your immune system rest, keep it from working so hard, because the parasites really make your system work hard, as well as the food that you're ingesting when it's not healthy. Yes, parasites are, you know, they can be deadly mm -hmm. <clears throat> in the system. They go to your brain, they go all over the place. And um, there are parasites in the foods we eat because if we say, you need to eat more raw fruits and vegetables, well, raw fruits and vegetables, you need to wash them. Yes. Otherwise, you know, parasites are right there. On the outside. Yes, right. depending on, you know, where, where did the farmer plant this? What, what did he use as fertilizer? Was it manure or was it something else? We don't know. Right. And so, you know, again, cleansing is important. Yeah, cleansing on every level. Yes. <laughs> so what else have you brought us to share? <clears throat> 